I got nothing. I have absolutely nothing. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to say? Garbage pale kids. Does the title even sound like it's gonna attempt to be a good movie? I feel raped. I feel honest to God raped by this movie. It is that bad. There is no talent, no effort, nothing salvageable. Nothing salvageable about this movie at all. Show the credits. Let's get started. We can do anything by working with each other. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna lie. It's really going to hurt. So, why waste any more time just talking about it? Well, I can think of a few reasons, but let's take a gander anyway. Be very afraid. First, a little history. Garbage Pail Kids was actually a deck of trading cards that children would pass around. It was obviously satirizing the Cabbage Patch Kids, but these were quite different. They were gross, violent, and totally disgusting. So as you can imagine, they were a huge hit, and kids all around the country were passing them around and trading them. Then some numbnuts at MGM thought to himself, hey, there's some great potential for a really good gripping story here. I don't know what he was smoking either. Let's just pray he got brain damage from it. And so Garbage Pail Kids the movie was created in the loosest form of the word created. How can they make a film based on a trading card that has absolutely no character or story development at all? I'm still not convinced they did, but let's take a look at what they put together anyway. So it starts off in outer space where we see a giant space garbage can flying around. What is it? Where did it come from? What relevance does it have on the story? I don't know! It never tells us! It never fucking tells us! You could show a flying rabbit float across the screen it would make about as much sense! We then cut to an antique store. In this economy, that's a laugh. Where a garbage can begins to shake and rumble. We then cut to a painting whose eyes watch the can as it moves back and forth. Will the movie explain to us why the picture's eyes are moving and glowing? <laughs> I think you give this movie way too much credit. We then see the owner of the antique store enter into the room. If I catch anybody up here, I'll be very surprised. What does that even mean? We then cut to the next day as we see a boy named Dodger. Consider yourself. Not that Dodger! being chased through the park by what looks like 80s jazzercise artists. Ah, so these must be the Garbage Pail Kids, right? God, they're even stranger looking than I imagined! That must be 80s McNo style, hairspray overkill, bully ill stereotype, and manish T. Tarzan. Wow, it's like the cards are coming to life! Actually, it turns out these are just bullies, which our main character Dodger has to deal with. Which is a little strange considering he's got to be about 12 years old and they look like they're almost in their 20s. What are they doing going after a fifth grader? Wow, a whole two dollars! We can get some hardcore cotton candy for that! <laughs> Boy, they can't even make the simple act of laughing look natural. I bet we're gonna see some real breakthrough performances in this motion picture epic. <laughs> So Dodger goes to his job at the antique store where he's joined by his boss, Captain Manzini. I suppose they call him that because he held some sort of command, but I think it's because he had a kid show on PBS or something. You know, like Captain Kangaroo. Only mine is the fun. Dodger tries to tell him about his bully problem, but Manzini's only job seems to be to talk at motivational speeches. Losing is relative, my dear boy. Patience is a bit of vine, dear Dodger. Every single piece is a diary of the human spirit. What matters? is conceding with grace. Yeah, you want to get to the part where you actually help me? Man could settle all his differences with one of these. Then some damn fool invented gunpowder, and a bigger damn fool split the atom. That's when I decided to leave mankind to its folly. Nobody knows how to kill people anymore. It's a lost art. Dodger, of course, asks about the mysterious trash can that Mazzini seems to be hiding from him. Have you ever heard of Pandora's box? According to legend, all the troubles in the world were once squeezed into one tiny little box. I don't understand. Think of this as Pandora's pain. Why don't you just tell him what's really in there? A bunch of annoying shits that won't shut the fuck up. I'll keep him away from there. So as Dodger continues to look after the store, one of the gang members named Tangerine comes around wearing a leotard made out of God knows how many dead blue leopards. No, how charmingly creepy. I bet he's gonna be a great serial killer one day. 
But the evil gang comes back again, led by their leader, simply named Juice. Okay, wait, Juice. Baby, come on, he's just a kid. He's not worth the time it'll take to beat him up. Forget it. Wish I could help you, baby. But the little creep's gotta be taught a lesson. It's a matter of principle. Yeah, that's pretty bad when you're jealous of a 12-year-old. Dodger tries to escape, but is pulled back by one of the gang members. Whoa, this is gonna be the best death ever! But Dodger proves he still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Wall? A basketball? I've never seen one of those before. Does it bite you or- Oh! But the gang grabs Dodger and takes him into the sewer, where they pour a ton of sewer water all over it. See you later, creep. You like that? I took hours thinking that up. I don't have a Harvard education for nothing. But Dodger is pulled out by a group of people who look like they just came from the Munchkin Lang ghetto. Don't! That's poison! Uh, this'll make him wake up! Same to you, buddy. Yeah. yeah, don't you love the way their lips move? It's not like you actually have to close your mouth all the way, is it? I'm not nerd! Fool ya! I'm Wendy Winston! Because all people move their lips like this, right? Manzini comes back to find that the Garbage Pail Kids are loose, and is incredibly kind enough not to tell us where the hell they came from. Beat the Garbage Pail Kids! Tessie! Hi! Don't shake hands with messy Tessie. Are they from another planet, or...? I fell, Phil! Daddy! Did they come from another dimension? Hi, I'm Valerie Bowman! <laughs> Do they have any personalities outside just doing gross stuff? They're all great, so great. Wanna rumble, kid? <laughs> Are any of them not racist? Oh look, the nerdy one just pissed his pants. Because that's funny, right? Right? The correct answer is no. Since you won't go back into the pail, you must at least promise me that you will say a word in the morning. What are normies? They're normal people. We got to hide from them. Yeah, they think we're ugly. Ugliness is not in a mirror. Ugliness is cruelty, meanness of spirit, greed. To be blessed with unusual features is an adventure. He's right, you know. Beauty has always been in the eyes of the beholder. And anyone who has eyes can clearly see that they are ugly as sin. So for some reason, Manzini doesn't have the right magic to get them back into the pail, which means Dodger has to spend most of his time looking after them, as Manzini tries to think of a way to get them back in their canned prison. The faster you can get on top of that, the better. Once he gets a break from the kids, Dodger goes to stalk that tangerine chick, who, for some reason, likes to dress like she's a freaking birthday present. <laughs> She tells Dodger that she's off to the dance court to sell some clothes she designed, and actually invites Dodger to come along with her. Um, so what do we do when we get there? What do you mean? Like, how do you sell the clothes? What the hell? Why did she wait until nightfall to answer that question? Was she really just sitting there in total silence until she thought up a response? So what do we do when we get there? What do you mean? Like, how do you sell the clothes? Yeah. Boy, don't ask her to play Password anytime soon. So they get to the dance court to sell her clothes when one of the women asks her for the shirt she's currently wearing. Oh my god! Boobs! I didn't know she had boobs! It's the most terrifying thing I've ever seen! Why isn't somebody doing something? She has boobs! Boobs! Meanwhile, we cut back to the Garbage Pail Kids who, um, just do stuff. I guess. We don't have any money. Oh. Hey, no problem. We'll carve out an IOU. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. One of the kids has a pocket knife. Remember, kids, real beauty is on the inside. And if you disagree, I'll cut you open to prove it. So the kids end up stealing a Pepsi truck. Yeah, that's a good lesson for children. As they accidentally drive over Juice's car. <laughs> What are you, crazy? Okay, how the fuck do you drive over a car? It's not a goddamn monster truck. Hey, we're the Pepsi generation. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling Pepsi regrets that promotional plug? That's some mustard. Pass the onions and garlic. <laughs> Ellie, you ate Yeesh. my burger. Was that yours? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Prove it. I can't. You ate the evidence. Yeah, yeah. Tough toothpaste. <laughs> WHERE'S THE STARRING?! I mean, did they just leave the camera on? 
They're doing nothing! Absolutely nothing! Give us a plot, you damn movie! My tummy hurts! What did you eat? Everything! That'll do it, all right? Oh. This film is physically hurting me. Well, the only thing that even comes close to a plot thread is that the kids can actually sew. Yeah, because they really look like the sewing type, don't they? In fact, they're apparently so good at it that they give Dodger a jacket that looks so ridiculous that it wouldn't even make it as Michael Jackson's hand-me-downs. Seriously, only the fashionably retarded would think this is actual good- wow. Where did you get those clothes? That is some coat! I rest my case. So, I guess people who dress like Christmas gifts really dig Dodger's fashion as Tangerine suddenly sees a business opportunity. I was just thinking maybe I could sell them for you. You know, along with mine. You know, that jacket makes you look, uh, older. Why, Mrs. Tangerine, you're trying to seduce me! So he returns to the shop to tell the kids how it all went. Tangerine loved the outfit. Uh, chicks is chicks. And I know my chicks. Yeah, I know my chicks. They have penises, right? But Dodger tells him that he needs more clothes to impress Tangerine. The kids agree to make more clothes as they hop to their feet Why and... We do something nice? Oh, no, 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 A song? They actually have a song in this movie? When did they at any point indicate that this was a musical? It's like a drive-by singing, it just comes out of nowhere. Come on, kids, take a shot, show them what we really got. On top of that, this song is just horrible. It sounds like a Disney ballad if it got sodomized by a donkey. Hi-ho, hi-ho, this, this movie's gonna, gonna blow. Beside the fact that their lips never sync up during the song and that's more like choreographed walking as opposed to dancing, am I the only one that finds it weird that they're singing about working together while they're stealing the equipment they need? The lessons in this movie are more in balance than a game of Jenga. And just to top it all off, the nerdy kid pisses his pants again. Oh yeah, because it was so funny the first time. Hello, it's morning and I have no school, home, or parents to report to. Yo guys, I got breakfast for you. Hey, if you do get that chick, all you got is trouble. I just wanted to like me. Careful what you wish for, you might get it. Ah, words of wisdom from Valerie Vomit, thank you so much. So Dodger leaves to show off the new clothes as the kids just... <sighs> sit around, I guess. Look what I found! Whoa! Oh, Check it out! Oh, it <laughs> oh, oh, ah, it doesn't work! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, fix it! No, no you it. broke it! Well, maybe we should get back to work. No way! Yeah! yeah All work and no work. play? Yeah. No way! Do something! I'm tired of sitting around watching the high school version of I Can't Believe It's Not Muppets! Just do something productive! Anything! I don't care! Let's go see a movie picture! <laughs> yes! Watching any movie different from the one I'm watching now is definitely a plus. So the kids dress up in costumes as they walk among the normal people. You know, how come in movies no one can ever see past a trench coat and fedora hat? Is it like Clark Kent's hypnotizing glasses or something? Do they just make people stupider? Hey! Check it out! Oh, faithful! <laughs> oh, yay! Another pissing your pants joke. Because, you know, 12 times a charm. So they find some miniature ATVs, because most good antique stores have miniature ATVs, and they go to a movie theater where they're showing Three Stooges shorts. <laughs> First of all, what movie theater shows Three Stooges shorts anymore? This isn't the 40s! Second, is everyone in this theater high? I mean, I love the Three Stooges, but they're all laughing like fucking hyenas. Maybe they've been devoid of real humor in this movie that even the moderately funny stuff seems incredible to them. <laughs> After that, they take a stop at the toughest bar in the world that is literally titled The Toughest Bar in the World. Who wrote this? Look out! Pop is created by Jim Henson's mentally retarded brother! Uh, take it! Hey, Wendy! Hey. Watch out, Wendy! Hold it! Hold it! Little sucker's got guts! Drinks for everybody! What kind of bar would operate like that? Hey! That kid just killed my wife, ate my dog, and crucified my mother! He's got guts! Drinks for everybody! So I know what you're thinking. These kids are just so charming and irresistible. Surely there must be more of them out there somewhere. Where are your friends now? 
We think they might be locked up somewhere. In a really terrible place. In the stay home for the ugly. Stay home for the ugly. I can't believe people would make a place like wait, that. Wait, wait. Stay home for the ugly? You're kidding, right? I didn't want to believe that such a place could actually exist. Do you believe it now? Oh, now, yes. You cannot be serious! Yes, apparently there's a state home for the ugly, where men literally walk around with nets and capture ugly people the same way dog catchers capture puppies for the pound. You shouldn't wear a mask unless it's Halloween, kid. No hard feelings, eh, kid? What world? Reality? Drugs? Where would you even get funding for that? I mean, you're telling me there's an actual state home for the ugly, and yet Joan Rivers, Michael Moore, and Carrot Top are allowed to roam free? What kind of sick, crazy world is this? Does this mean we're gonna find the place? Settle up, partner. We are gonna find the home for the ugly. Oh. All right! So, yeah, where the hell did this plot thread come from? Who the fuck cares? Let's just follow it and see how much damage it causes. Okay, so they find the state home for the ugly, where they plan to break in one night and get all the ugly people out. But it has to wait, as the other plot thread about the designer clothes is taking place as well. How did we go from a movie with no plot line to a movie with too many plot lines? You gonna make a lot more of those things for me? I got big plans for us. Us? Dude, is she nibbling his ear? You can go to jail for that! Hi, baby. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be sure to tell all my other pedophile friends how cool you are. But it turns out Tangerine's heart still belongs to Juice. Good god, Tangerine Juice. This isn't a cast of characters, it's a fucking grocery list. It feels lousy, abandoning my principles for money. Principles? Yeah, letting the little creep live. What is up with this guy? Did Dodger kill his father or something? I mean, what's up with the hate? I suppose I should be dealing some drugs or robbing some liquor stores. But nah, a 12-year-old with a fashion scheme, that's where the real money is. Uh, wait a minute. I think they're gonna do another pissing pants joke again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, 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 but Juice finds out about the garbage pail kids, breaks into the store, and sends them to the state home for the ugly. Why? So that Tangerine can take credit for making all the clothes that they made and she displays it in her very own fashion show. Uh, you know, you still need the kids to make future clothes, right? Where are they? Where? I'm acting! <laughs> so the bullies take Dodger out back and throw him into a dumpster to keep him out of trouble. But little did they know that clever old Dodger could get out of the dumpster! Meanwhile, at the state home for the ugly, they keep the kids locked away with all of history's hideous treasures, like Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, and Santa Claus. Did they ever read this out loud? They're crying. You want us to shut them up? They'll be gone soon. Gone where? So not only do they imprison ugly people, but they also kill them? Look. I know the Reagan years weren't always perfect, but somehow I just can't see him signing off on an establishment like this. Ugly people need to be destroyed. But luckily Dodger and Captain Manzini come in to save the day. I'm so glad I can free you from this prison just so I can entrap you again in an even smaller garbage pail. Hooray! There's even a scene where a bunch of their biker friends use their Harleys to rip the bars off the window. Why? They took out all the guards, why don't they just go through the front door? Use your thoughts, writers! Use your thoughts! So they all make it to Tangerine's fashion show, where they plan to show that thief a thing or two. Oh great, so what are they gonna do? Like, throw paint on the clothes, cut the dresses into ribbons, or strip them off the models exposing their almost totally naked bodies? Is this movie for kids or what?! So we then get an exciting climax, which consists of a lot of farting, sneezing, and even vomiting. Wow, could this be any more enchanting? <laughs> Then get the final showdown between Juice and Little Dodger. Dude, you're beating up a 12 year old? What an asshole! <laughs> you're getting beat up by a 12 year old? What an asshole. But Manzini comes in to calm Little Dodger down.
I wish my parents were written into this movie. They would know how to comfort me. So after the fashion show is destroyed, Tangerine tries to make amends with Dodger. But somehow being lied to, abused, molested, and beat up both physically and mentally doesn't quite do it for Dodger anymore. No thanks. I don't think you're pretty anymore. Wow, I got burned by a fifth grader. I think I've had a new low. So Manzini tries to sing the kids back into the pail with a spell he's written, but ultimately backfires, as those lovable rapscallions ride into the night looking for more media art forms to destroy. What a fucking load. This is it. The worst. The absolute worst. No story, no character, no plot. Just pain. Pure, concentrated pain. There has never been anything this bad in the history of badness. It should be studied. It should be analyzed. It is pure evil. I don't know whether to give it to a scientist to examine or a priest to exercise. I mean, it is remarkable. It is absolutely remarkable. Even the closing credits are hurting me. Everything about this movie is just plain horrendous. In fact, I don't even know why I'm still watching. I should turn it off before anything else. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so bad it's actually spreading the fabric of space and time! Where am I? You are inside the bad movie. A film so horrible that it actually ages you even as you watch yourself. Wow, the movie's that bad? Yes. Now piss off! <coughs> I'm trying to eat my processed cereal. <coughs> Will you shut up? I'm trying to die over here for crying out loud! <sighs> well, I'm done for. At least I never have to see that shitload of ass movie again. <laughs> My God, it's turned me into what the movie always was, a dirty piece of crap. <laughs>